Furniture, home of Jerry's Price, the lowest price every day. All right, so we're still dealing with those Santa Ana conditions, hoping yeah. that things get better over the next few days. We are actually doing much better here in San Diego than our neighbors up to the north. And we want to take you live to some of the images of what's happening right now. This is uh, the Woolsey fire and you can clearly see the flames are still burning overnight. It makes it so much more challenging into the overnight hours for many factors. One visibility, of course, two the conditions are going to start getting a little bit cooler and the winds are just kind of picking up in different places and even changing direction as we speak. That's something that's very normal for the evening hours in Southern California and you can see it here by the arrows pointing near Thousand Oaks straight out of the northeast and then you get just to their east and the winds are turning now just uh, to their their east. So if this continues out of the northeast, it just kind of takes everything in one direction. But when the winds start turning a little bit, it makes it very complicated. You can see Malibu, the winds straight out of the north with the potential for the flames to spread closer to the coastal areas. It is just one of those days, one of those weekends where conditions are going to be primed for high fire danger and we'll have to keep everyone in our thoughts, especially to our north. If you're planning on traveling in that direction, make sure to stay tuned to the closures and also to the air quality. The winds here in San Diego, they're actually much lighter, still very windy and alpine averaging 22 miles an hour, but the air dryness, the relative humidity is what's really increasing that fire danger tonight, keeping it at 10, 11%, turning all vegetation into almost paper. It would spread very quickly. Our high fire danger will continue until 10 p.m. tonight and our high wind warning almost expiring in just a, a little bit in about 10 minutes, 550 right now. So in 10 minutes, it'll be expiring. You can see those winds are much lighter to start the weekend. Then they'll go back up on Sunday. This will increase our fire danger once again. A lot of people will be out and about on Sunday, whether it's a Silver Strand uh, Half Marathon or any of our Veterans Day um, events. The winds are going to be picking up through the course of the day on Sunday most likely into the afternoon, later into the nighttime. That's when it's going to be the windiest. Temperatures hovering close to 80 degrees at the coast on Saturday, and it's still going to be pretty dry, pretty warm into next week. The overall pattern is going to be dry for the next seven days. The windiest periods, the first one ending tonight, the next one picking up on Sunday through the course of the day, still windy on Monday with moderate fire danger on Tuesday and Wednesday. But conditions are going to be dry for the next seven days. And we've seen even after a Santa Ana wind event when conditions are like, all right, now we're in the clear and then all of a sudden there's a fire. So mm -hmm. we'll have to be careful even after. Always. Yeah. Watching out all over the state. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Angelica. All right.